Yes, sir. I don't want to ask you about the cow. Uh, you said that's a hybrid animal? The cow is a hybrid animal, true hybridization. Between one and one. I cross between a yak and a buffalo. <laughs> it's not natural. So I don't know when the Bible talk about Abraham that was killing and dressed the calf. I don't know what they were talking about because this cow is new. You see, how do you know what is natural? I'm going to show you guys a very beautiful scale. I wish I had a blackboard that this thing could go off into something very nice. But we're going to use this line. This line here. This line as a center. This line as a center would, would, would be number seven for neutral and pH. Anybody know pH is? The pH of seven is what? Neutral. Zero. Anything to our right, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 is alkaline. Anything to our left from 7 to 1 is acid. 7 is neutral. Where's the line? Right here. Okay, now we're going to use that. Because we're white. We don't need no blackboard. Our brain could penetrate, right? Okay, we remember that 7 to our right to 14 is alkaline. 7 down to 1 is acid. If a substance is acid, it's always below seven. Below seven. As a steam engineer, I knew that. 6.9 is always acid. But it's only one point acid, right? And as it goes to one, it becomes more acid and more acid and more acid. And depending on the degree of acidity, we we'll determine what scale it will be on, right? So we find that cyanide and arsenide they are like two. One and a half grain of arsenide would kill you right now, isn't it? But if the substance is on above seven, is it good for you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, when you milk a cow, this is a hydrogen ion concentration test, they call it. Hydrogen ion. You break it out, pH, depending on its structure, its acid state. If the substance is alkali, if you no, if you make a cow, the cow is 5.2 on the hydrogen scale, which means it would erode your cells, and that milk you're giving your baby, that bottle, is killing your baby with fever and nose running. But if you make a goat, the milk is 9.8, which is what? Which means that God made it. <laughs> God. God doesn't make anything that hurts you, right? I mean, if he made something to hurt you, he wouldn't be God. If you make a tiger, the milk is alkaline. Over here. If you make a lion, the milk is alkaline. If you make a woman, it's alkaline. But if you make a cow, that's how you know. You could take a carrot and juice it and give it the litmus test. It's way over there on the acid side. But they help people claim it is where a man is in the door right now named Lorenzo Pace. Lorenzo Pace came to see me when I was at Monroe Street. And he said, hey, look, man, I want to drink juice and I got all this mucus. I'm a vegetarian. What's going on, man, say, B? I said, Lorenzo, what kind of juice you drink? And he said, carrots, baby, carrots. <laughs> because the poor man was told by these nutritionists in Harlem that he should drink carrot juice. Mucus was coming out of Lorenzo like he never said. <laughs> <laughs> I said, stop it. Then he used that without the mucus. Then go back and drink carrot juice. 